So the Brackeens are a white couple living in Texas, and based on public statements they've made and blog posts the wife made, for religious reasons, they feel it's very important that they um, adopt Indian children, and they've elected to do so. However, um, the Indian Child Welfare Act does allow for tribes to intervene and to have a say in what happens to their children. The Indian Child Welfare Act is a law that Congress passed in 1978 that creates procedural safeguards to protect the lives, safety, and welfare of Native children so that if an Indian child is being taken from his or her or their home for any reason, we make sure that that child, the priorities are that that child ends up with his or her family first, and we only place Indian children with complete strangers if there any, aren't any other healthy, good options available within that child's family or tribal nation or community. And that's really a best standard for really any any child, but it was really important and it still is important for Indian children because our kids are targeted by the adoption industry and by states who have prejudice and bias against Native families and Native nations. When that process started, the Brackeens were very upset, but ultimately that process did not result in them losing the child they wanted to adopt. They actually filed their lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of ICWA after they knew they were getting to adopt the kid that they wanted to adopt. I'd say one of the things I hear most often is, is just um, this aching, this grief, this longing to figure out who you are. You know, I think as Native people, as American Indians, as citizens of tribal nations, we have this connection to something before the United States, something that's been here on this land since time immemorial. I think disconnecting us as citizens of tribal nations from our language, from our culture, it's just a continuation of the genocide that the United States that sought to accomplish in the 1700s and 1800s, but couldn't. If you can take a nation's children, you'll eradicate that nation because without any children, you, you literally do not have a nation anymore. And the folks who are fighting ICWA understand that. I mean, the youth at Standing Rock the tribal leaders showed up, but at first it was the youth. It was kids, it was children. It was children who are protected by ICWA who stood up and said no to that pipeline because they had relatives who were buried in the path of that pipeline. And the pipeline didn't like that, right? But if you, if you can eliminate those nations, if those nations no longer exist, then I think oil and gas understands there's a lot more profit to be had. <laughs>